Ahora le vamos a dar and paso now a Lourdes Rieta. Lourdes Rieta will have the floor. She is a person who, who read a communication, a paper. And anyway, she's going to speak next. The title is Restricted Circulation. Hola, soy Lourdes Arrieta Ormazábal. Quiero agradeceros a todos y todas vuestra presencia. Today. I was born in Deasa, en Guipúzcoa, and the doctors gave me three months of life later, two years, but um, I've, I've six decades have gone by. From four years, I have gone from hospital to hospital, sanitariums, and all types of centers which tried to cure me from what? I'm not ill. I'm not sick. I did not go to school because since I, they were not adapted, they could not accommodate me. It was my mother who taught me how to read and the basic upper, um, mathematics. And I learned things at home, and I did took my exams in institu institutes. And furthermore, I do have no academic diploma, but I have a lot of experience. And no one gave me social inclusion. I had to, day after day, I had to work for this until I was able to learn how to communicate, the Arrieta communication system. I um, was sold beauty products and detergents and even sold lottery to make money in financial services for the largest bank of the world in spite of the fact that I am, um, that I cannot speak. And with other colleagues, I um, have been helped with ingredients of p la lottery um, p ven vendors. And so in, then I woke up every morning of my life, and it is a huge challenge. In 2013, the Arrieta method was um, be what began, and this was a Moriarty production, and it was there was it was called Open My Eyes. It's a book which uh, shows the most important um, events of my life. I am an activist, and I defend the rights of people who have a functional diversity. I have given more than 50 conferences in different fora and different cities around the country and abroad by using my voice synthesizer. I also part to participate in artistic projects, scientific projects, and cultural projects. I am part. Uh, I belong to the Independent Living Forum and to the SOCOM um, Group for Solidarity of People with Functional Diversity and Social Inclusion. I know what discrimination is all about since I am poor, I am a woman, and above all, because of my dis disability. And in a few more time, I will be marginalized because of my age. But for that battle, I'm, I am ready. With this lecture, I am trying to tell you the following, to show you that the Spanish Constitution and the Treaty of the Functioning of the European Union and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, and particularly the Convention of the United States on the Rights of, the, on the rights of People, the Convention of the Rights of uh, Persons with uh, Disability, Article 19 particularly, which uh, defends all citizens and their right to freely choose their residence and to free movement, but in practice they do not bear in mind special characteristics of people with functional dis diversity, and to the contrary, that we are marginalized. And I'd also show the urgency to count an organic law which make a personal assistant be possible for people with functional diversity as a, an integration tool to have access to full exercise of all uh, liberty which for law and dignity are not inherent all around Spain and Europe. And now let us go to the issue I am addressing. Not long ago I lived in a beautiful, love, lovely city, Donosti. Unfortunately, the client in the Basque country started to worsen my health. You know that for people who have mobility, movement problems, uh, humidity and cold is a, is a, works against us. And boots, heat, and too much clothes removed my m ability to move about. And so I felt that uh, my parents uh, 
uh, died, so I decided to move to the south, thinking that I could exercise my right to free movement and residence. And, um, and so before moving, my husband and I needed to analyze the problems which our project was all about by looking in my, my 94% disability. So I would also try to fulfill my life dream to live looking at the sea. Uh, uh, so I was looking for an adapted home for a year. I looked at all of, I looked at 200, 2,500 homes. I got in touch with real estate companies and I asked a lot. I explained my profile of, of I explained my needs as a user and needs. And so then, um, so I had to tell these agents what it meant to find an adopted home. Some features um, are there, but when we got on talk, in touch with the owners and asked for more information and photographs, it turned out that they had small bathrooms or they, um, they had, there were uh, stairs, narrow doors, and the like, and oftentimes there were no ramps, or some ramps they, they were very, very inclined, and so it would be impossible. And even there were elevators where uh, a wheelchair would never fit. And so we finally found a flat. It wasn't necessarily adapted, but it was accessible. In other words, uh, bathrooms where a wheelchair could turn about, and, um, and uh, everything was flat windows, um, big elevators, etc. And it cost over half a million euros. Conclusion, in the entire Mediterranean coast, I could not find one seagull home that could be adapted to my needs at a reasonable price. So therefore, we needed to focus on something new or um, other homes and to um, fix them up or do free refurbish them, but it wouldn't be in the front, uh, looking at the sea but everything was expensive. And so between paying a high price for an old home or a new home, the choice was clear. And fortunately, I found a home that um, fit in with my requirements. However, I had to invest a lot of time and money in ref to refurbish and do adaptations without receiving a penny of help for that um, aim. And so I discovered that because of my disability, I could not freely choose the place where I could live. And this is a basic right, which is in our law, but apparently the, uh, the provincial autonomous and municipal authorities never have shown any interest to comply with this. I left Giputhkas, Dipkuthka, and I was going to renounce a right which was very useful for me. Personal assist, assistance given by the independent life program from the by the um, government of Gipuzkoa. And I could do different types of activities, political, scientific, and cultural, uh, cultural activities. And thanks to the independent living form, I was able to be independent with um, an, in, a digni in a dignified way. I didn't depend upon my husband. I could even travel um, to different countries knowing that I could control my life as best I could. Well, giving this up was very hard for me. And this program, in my cases, as well as in the few provinces or Spanish cities where it, this is valued for that particular area. If you leave your province for more than three months, you lose that right. In my case, it was, I was Guputhkwa, my new life project, as I mentioned before. And I left because of health. I had no other choice. I was, as there was no legal framework for the independent living framework, then I could not perceive this complement of my con pension in another province. After I sold my home and did all the paperwork, I had to give that uh, program up in the, uh, in the regional government. People thought my decision was very odd, but there was no going back. To have a car facilitated our journeys to see and look for alternatives to find what home we would buy, a car. Of course, we have personal assistance without whom everything would have been exponentially much more difficult, almost impossible, not only for me, but also for my husband. And lodging is always very difficult. 
almost everyone offered rooms that were adapted um, to my case, but that was not the case. Well, for example, I can say m tiny bathrooms, and in this stage of the project, it was already obvious that my freedom of movement and to travel where I wanted to was uh, very difficult, so the rest of my freedoms were also mm, touched on. These experiences allowed me to experiment the feeling that my personal assistants were my most important link to liberty. I, I knew about this very clearly. Ever since my first day in my new destination, I needed to look for a, par of a couple of personal assistants and to organize the, the move from Donosti. And then we went to the house, and which, as I said before, needed to have some, refurbish, some, have some refurbishment, which increased the price above all in the bathroom. And the, for, to, it's very difficult to go from the living room to the terrace. And my garage is very tiny, and l law says that should be an, a, a larger. I then discovered uh, the validity of concepts pointed out in the, the draft project for the independent living law. This has been promoted by the independent living form because one thing is to vegetate in your own home doing what other people tell you to do and as if you were castrated and the other was to live by exercising my right to basic liberty which are inherent as mo mobility and moving about where I wish. So then it was completely unfair to not have these programs in almost all around Spain. And besides, the few programs that did exist were not structured and regulated organically, and so it was very complicated to have access, access for people who were in similar to, to me, for example, because now let's talk about Social Security. We have the right to Social Security to the end of our days. It doesn't matter if we, we move or where we choose to live. And so this shortcoming vulnerates basic elemental rights of our group. And so the next was um, difficult, and it, it would be difficult for anyone who might want to move to another community. And besides lawyers and notaries, to you have to register your new property. I have to register in the offices in Social Security, health care and even in the finance ministry and in social service with the hope of being being attended to. And I already knew that in all of the Mediterranean basin, except for Barcelona, I would not find an independent living program that could uh, welcome me and give me this possibility. It, it, it was ruled out. So before the move, I had had information about the provisions of social services in different communities and provinces and cities, and in some measure I already knew what I'd have to cope with. The go from uh, Mariano La as the presidency was, was uh, one thing. The grass has not grown back, and almost all of the country, and particularly the Mediterranean coast, the concession of some aid might take months or years to become effective, that is, if you even get this, and it's very limited. And when these are technical aids. There's a, a, a small list of articles, the cheapest ones, and in many cases, they are already obsolete. And in the case of the, the, the law of dependence, one has to wait for three, at least three years for a resolution which is not always favorable. In all of Spain, until October of 2017, 200,000 people had died who were on the waiting list, waiting for the central government waiting for their, uh, th their, the funds that were to be allotted to them. There are more than 2,000 people are waiting for a solution. The panorama is not very encouraging. We knew that the Independent Living Forum has, uh, has a, 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 a organic law proposal to organize and to give a personal assent as its natural right to people who have a functional, re a functional diversity. This is a law which entails the precepts of what we are looking at. And nevertheless, this draft proposal, which sounds like celestial music and and looks so serious, might take 
a long time be, become a real because before that has to go to uh, to the parliament where each party will surely want to um, do do something else. So in the end, it, it seems to be their own initiative, and so they will look good in the photograph. We know that's part of the political game. My experience is proof of what it means to be is to not exercise the right to free circulation and to uh, live where I want in equal conditions like the rest of humanity as we see in the Spanish Constitution and the Treaty of Functioning of the European Union and the De Universal Declaration of Human Rights and particularly the Convention of the United Nations on the Rights of Persons with uh, Disabilities. This refers to the full exercise of citizen freedoms and particularly the first paragraph of Article 19, which protects all citizens and their right to freely choose their place of residence and to move about the national territory, that's tied into uh, freedom. It's tied into freedom of choice of residence to live in a given community. This Nobody told me about this. I've experienced this, and I still experience this. Unfortunately, and whilst there is no specific law which will guarantee this right, I will continue in the limbo of exclusion with rights, but nevertheless with my limited independence. If someone else, a normal person, a pensionist, but normal, that is to say, with no important disability, would have uh, tried to go to another city in the Mediterranean Sea by buying a home and everything this is, is involved here, he would have spent between 100 and 120,000 euros instead of 300,000 euros that I've had to invest. And so in the practice, it's if we are paying an, uh, an overtax just because of my functional diversity. And besides, I have to contract and pay for this. I have to pay two as personal assistance out of my own pocket, plus their Social Security uh, quotas. And so if not, the manifestations of freedom of opinion, communication, participation, and manifestation are, uh, have been um, relegated. And so thank you very much.